Nuggets. In this video, I'll give you some three Nuggets ways of pronouncing ED at the end of the words. It, t, d. You may have noticed that English past tense verbs with ED ending pronounced with the three different ways. It, t, and d. For example, if I see the past tense of verb walked, as in I walked away, what is the last sound that you hear for the past tense verb? Walked, as in t. Notice that there is only one syllable walked. Walked. What do you hear when I smelled the end pronounced as d? And when I say visited, visited, as in he visited New York City, how did they pronounce ed sound? Id, visited, visited. This lesson teaches you the three rules that explain the three ed sounds, but don't be surprised most Americans can't explain these rules to you. The truth is, Americans make these changes in sounds without even noticing. Vow. Noticing that v vow has its own vibration, meaning it is voice pronunciation. While f, as in froth, has no vibration, which is a cold voiceless or unvoiced sound. Listen and repeat for practice. Okay, so this is clear. And once you have seen D, it could be needed like this. Wanted, needed. Gets? Okay. Two. The same thing of rule number one as I explained to you. We have these categories that somehow you might notice. We have P, K, F, G, H, like that, you can see those are the notes that you're going to use your sounds to. Let's say, for example, we have helped, licked, sniffed, laughed, washed, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. Notice that those sounds t. Rule number three, d. I'll be putting the notes there. Just grab it later, and uh, you can play back this video so that you could see the notes that have been written there. Called, cleaned, offered, damage, love used, amazed, rubbed, claimed. Remember, these rules are not only the regular verbs in the past tense, which is end in ed, but also for regular past participles and adjectives that end in ed. There is a special section about voice and voiceless or in voice sounds in English. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. If you really like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions and suggestions or violent reactions, yeah, you can comment down below so that I can help you and I can also be part of your English journey. So keep improving yourselves and be confident in speaking English. Good luck to your English language. See you soon. Bye.